this is pre-calculus, T5A6, and we are solving this equation right here. And uh, one of the things that I noticed about this equation, it's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got uh, sine times cosine plus cosine times sine, and it's equal to 0.5. Um, I'm also only doing it for one full period. So I want to compress this. I want to write this as something simpler. So sine cosine plus cosine sine. Let's see, sine cosine plus cosine sine. That can be rewritten just as a single sine statement. Sine of the first plus the second. All right, so let's, uh, let's compress this thing then. So this would be sine of the first, same operator, second. And that's still equal to 0.5. And that feels a lot better to try and solve that. So uh, let's go ahead and go with what we got then. So if I go from here, uh, I'm going to inverse sine. So inverse sine one half. And so if I if I do that, I get 30 degrees. Great. Um, but I know that that's not the full story because I know that sine gives me a height, and you know, it gave me this 30 degrees, but there's another height that would, there's another angle, sorry, that would have the same height. So in order to get my other answer, the full thing's 180, so I'm going to go 180 minus 30 is, uh, is 150. So those are my two possibilities for the angle. So the, the angle, which is theta plus 30 degrees, would equal 30 degrees or 150 degrees. Both of those work. So that being said, uh, now I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. And if I do that, uh, 30 minus 30 is 0. 150 minus 30 is 120. And um, my period's 360, so if I start adding 360s to this, it's going to kick me out of that. So there's my answer.